physics course 4 which is going to cover the second book of class 12 and CERT. This part of the course is exciting or challenging and it will require a lot of attention. You will say why are we saying this in the beginning of the course? We have not even started. Let me warn you we were doing optics, we were doing ray optics and we started with shadows and we started with image production and we started explaining it. At this stage in class 12, what are we going to revisit and do? There is more to optics than what we have ever done before. There are so many natural phenomena which required the attention of physicists to go deeper into understanding why they were happening and that led to a new range of studies and therefore experimentation and consequently uh, new ways of talking about it. So, wave optics is your new introduction and you are going to see that in the units that we are going to cover here. In all, there are about 5 units and covering 43 modules and over 26 weeks, we plan to go slowly and with sufficient e-content and video content, so that it becomes easy for you to understand. We as teachers do realize that how do we make the connection in this part of the course for you because you will be dealing after wave optics dual nature of matter which is again a conceptually a new thing that you will learn. But you need it because there is so much more happening now. You will do the basics of atoms and nuclei and that is essential because that is how the study of atoms and nuclei started. You might wonder why in this age you are going to be referring back to this old work. Because today every time you visit any new physics work there is something new that is happening, but you cannot understand it till you understand the basic. So, the foundations that have to be laid for understanding the new work has to come at this stage for you and that is why you will be studying Bohr's atomic theory and uh, Rutherford's experiment and go deeper into understanding the radioactivity which is used for getting energy, for getting uh, so many new isotopes, what is being used in the medical fields, so many experiments that are being done to see better and better of what the minutest thing that we ever seen by electron microscope. We need all this course because of that reason. Then you will study something new in it also, another new thing and which is semiconductors and the conduction in semiconductors and its application to electronic devices. Everything that you see today has some electronics in it. You have to know the basics to understand how you can make use of it, do more studies in it and further the imagination and world of electronic devices. Everything that you use today for communication again requires these electronic circuits, understanding them in their bare essential basic way is so, so important. We as teachers have put it together for you and hope that it will make life easier. And as uh, we had not done this earlier in your earlier course for class 12, this time we are introducing an additional module after every unit. This will recapitulate for you and provide you with more questions, have uh, certain more explanatory uh, work so that it becomes easier and you, you are able to get ready to answer uh, questions and uh, to be able to do more work in it. So, fun learning again with physics 4 for you and uh, hope we do a good job.